Now, here's an obstacle that I've tried before in the Diverti Wrangler. Let's see how this thing handles it. What? Dude! We just slow crawled that! Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5, and today we are going to be doing a full build of the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, this is going to be an off-road build, and at the end of it, we are actually going to be taking it to the rock crawling park area that you can find at the start point of Eliminator on the map. Now, I also want to go ahead and direct y'all's attention to this gorgeous Ford Performance paint job that I actually was able to find. This thing looks so good. It looks absolutely incredible, and it was made by, uh, let's see, it was made by Screamies, and he did an absolutely incredible job with this thing. So, so, so good. And I don't know why I clicked it again because it was already applied on the vehicle, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and buy a new Bronco for this build. Now, I already have another Bronco, but I decided to keep that one for some other uh, experimentation and some other builds and some other things like that. And then this one is going to be sort of my uh, off-roading slash trail riding slash rock crawling dedicated Bronco build. Now, if you watched my video about the rock crawling area where I used the Diberti Wrangler, um, you'll know exactly what area we're going to. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I recommend going over to my channel and finding it and watching it, but, or you can see it in this video. So let's go ahead and go back now and we're going to head straight into the build. Now, upgrades and tuning wise, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to leave the stock engine in this thing. And actually, somebody said in the comment section not too long ago that if I installed the 10 speed gearbox in one of these off roaders, you could have the first five gears being your like ultra low range and the second group of five gears being sort of your normal drive. Driving, um, and it almost gives you like this double ratio set, like sort of an ultra low range and then a normal uh, normal range of gears. And I kind of want to try that. I kind of want to see how it goes. But let's go straight into the custom upgrades. And I'm thinking that right off the bat, hmm. So we have the stock EcoBoost engine in there right now. There's the option of a 6.2 V8. There's also a 5.8 supercharged. There's also a racing 7.2, a 7.4 twin turbo, and a racing V6 twin turbo. So what I might do for this build, since I kind of want, um, I, I want the torque, you know what I mean? I really want that extra torque for all the low end, and I think that is most likely going to come straight from... Mm, I mean, yes, this thing makes a ton of torque, the 7.4 V8 twin turbo, but I put it in a lot of stuff. Let's throw the 7.2 V8 in this thing. And that's not to say that we can't throw a gigantic supercharger on top of the 7.2 and make it an absolute rocket ship. So let me go ahead and handle all of the upgrades that they will allow us to do on this engine, and we will be able to get a final power number. Now, the final power number that they are going to give us is, or at least it's going to be, let's find out. We're right around the corner, race flywheel, and 1,357 horsepower and 1,007 foot-pounds of torque. That's not bad, and actually, the torque curve looks really, really smooth. Really, really smooth, actually. Let's see what it sounds like. It sounds really, really good. Like, it sounds absolutely incredible in there. Now, suspension and, and you know, handling dynamics-wise, we're going to go with some race brakes just because I, I kind of would prefer to have them. Um, rally suspension for full tunability. Race sway bars so, so that we can then dial the sway bar all the way out. And then, chassis reinforcement-wise, I'm going to go ahead and throw the roll cage in there. And weight reduction, I'm going to do the race weight reduction. And I'm kind of going back and forth on whether or not I need the cage. I don't think I need it. I'm going to take it out. And I was like, eh, it's more of like an off-roader than a, than a race rig. So I'm just going to take it out. And race clutch, I do want that because that's going to give us a lot more control. And let's see, nine speed. Oh, man, they don't let you put the 10 speed in this thing. That kind of, kind of goes outside my plans of the ultra low range stuff. But we'll see what we can do with it. Now, race drive line is absolutely going in, and then off-road diff is most definitely going in. And then arrow and appearance-wise, there's not going to be all that much we're going to do. I'm not going to put that push bar on the front. It's going to kind of ruin our uh, approach angle. Do I want to take the spare tire off? I mean, I think it looks cool with the spare tire, so I'm going to leave the spare tire on. And then, let's see. Is this like... Wait, what? Street side skirts... I don't see anything changing, personally. Now, I was expecting to see, like, maybe 
some mud flaps or something like that, but I don't see anything changing. Comment down below what you guys, like, if you guys see anything changing with that, let me know down in the comment section below. Now, I'm not a fan of that light bar that's screwed directly into the hood, so I'm just gonna do the, uh, the Baja style up top light bar. And then from there, I think we should be almost good to go. We just got to handle the wheel and tire setup, off-road race tire compound, and we're going to throw some 335s on this thing, ultra-wide. Yeah, 335s front and rear. Now, let's see. God, that thing's got a lot of positive camber in the front. I don't know if that's just kind of its resting position or its resting alignment, but that's a bit odd looking. Now, the stock wheels do look really, really good, but I'm probably going to go ahead and pull them off of there and swap them out for... Let me see. There's a couple of off-road wheels that I have in my mind that I think would look really good on this Bronco, and I'm going back and forth between a few in my head. I just need to find them because I'm not entirely familiar yet with where they hide all of these wheels. These look pretty cool, those American Racing uh, VF309s, but there are a couple of other ones as well that I would like to see how they look. I, I honestly like these, the Rotoform uh, BKKs. I really like them a lot, but I don't know if they suit the application. I love these, though. These look really, really good, and I think they, I think they definitely fit the idea of what we're going for. So let me throw those on there. And then I'm going to leave the wheel size alone because obviously I want as much sidewall as I can get. We're going to install that setup. It'll be good to go. And now we just need to throw a quick tune on it. And I'm really uh, curious to get into the alignment and dig into what it actually, uh, what it's actually set at. So let me bring that tire pressure down all the way. And we have a 458 final drive right now. And I, oh God, this is going to be interesting. 610. And we're going to make this, like, ultra low. I'm kind of just, like, setting these by, uh, I guess setting them by ear. But not necessarily by ear, but, like, basically making them ultra short. And once I get up to fourth gear, that's probably when I'm going to stop making them ultra short. I'll set fourth gear at 2.3. And then everything from here on out, I'm going to make a little bit longer so that we have a low range and a high range that we can use uh, whenever we want. Now, it might drive a little bit weird, but based on the readings of the virtual dyno, we are still at a top speed of 198 miles an hour, which isn't bad. It really isn't bad at all. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go with the zero camber in the rear. I'm going to make it like half a degree negative so that maybe, like, well, in the front so that maybe when, actually, I'm going to make it a full degree negative because at resting, I know it says zero, but it looks like it's a little bit positive, which is a little strange. Let me push that caster up. And then sway bars are getting dialed all the way out for as much flex as we can, uh, as we can have. Basically doing a sway bar delete, essentially. Soften the springs. And I'm not going to worry about the damping too much. And diff is already like 50-50, you know, well, 50-50 front and rear and then 100-100 locked. All right. Thing seems ready to go to me. Let's take this thing out on, well, I almost said on the road, but more like take it out to the dirt and the rocks and see what it does out there. So, oh man, really? It's nighttime right now? Now, in case you guys are curious as to where this off-road park area is, all you need to do is fast travel to the start point of the Eliminator on your map, and I'll, I'm, I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly where that is right now. The Eliminator, and that is going to be where you'll start your Battle Royale, but we're obviously not going to start that right now, and instead, we are going to use this gigantic off-roading playground that we have right at our disposal. Now, as you can see, our first four gears are very short, and then when we get up into fifth, it, get, it becomes much longer. So let's see. Now, here's an obstacle that I've tried before in the Diverti Wrangler. Let's see how this thing handles it. What? Dude! We just slow crawled that. Oh my god. Dude, what? <laughs> Bro, the Bronco is incredible. I cannot believe what it just did. I cannot believe the level of, like, precision it had while doing that. Let's see what we can find over here. Can we fit through that? I'm gonna back this guy up. Whoop. Really? Wow, just putting that torque to use. Okay, don't lift. 
Easy with the torque. Here's my line. Oh, dude! <laughs> what? What? Wow. Bro, I am already blown away by the crawling capabilities of this Bronco tune. And now that I know how well that kind of gearing setup works, especially for slow crawling, I'm gonna need to like throw this exact same setup on my Diverti Wrangler and see how that does. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get back into the uh, into the rock park. A little bit of a uh, little bit of a quick uh, re-entry into the rock park there, I will admit. But let's head to the other side and see what kind of lines we can find over there, because there's some really good lines on the other side of the park as well. I can't get over how incredibly effortlessly it did that very first climb. That very first climb was just next level. This, ooh, this looks like a good one. It's actually got a little bit of flex to it as well. Let me see if I can get that on camera. Nope. I need to get the tire to just ease its way. Ease its way up. Ah, uh, my bumper is apparently hitting now. There it is. I don't know how good this flex is going to look, but... You know, I mean... You could see a little bit of difference in the wheel travel between the front and the rear, though. It's not, you know, obviously it's not completely tucked, but... And not only is this thing putting in work, but it's actually able to kind of balance itself here, which is really, really cool. All right, let's see if we can continue to ease it. Oh. Oh, there's the torque. But right when it bit and got traction, it got a little bit unhappy. Let's see. Nope. It needs a little bit more of a bump. Not that much of a bump. Okay, maybe it's actually going to need some throttle. I tried to do this the slow crawling way at first. Now I'm gonna do. Yep, there we go. I was like, now I'm gonna use some throttle. I, I tried it the. Uh, I tried it the slow way. Now we're gonna try it the speedy way. What about up here? Oh, that looks like a fun line. Oh, if I'd had a tiny bit more momentum, I would have totally been able to do that. Let's see one more time. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know if this is doable. Ho, ho, ho. Couldn't really see where I was going, but we still made it up here. Had to make a little bit of a last minute turnaround, but dang, this is so incredibly satisfying. This Bronco with this tune, bro, oh my God. The actual like off-roading and rock crawling capabilities of this thing are absolute next level stuff. And if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.